We're back. Another edition. Another, another extravaganza. Yes. I could be anywhere in the world, but I'm here with you. <laughs> yes, and y'all here with me and vice versa. Y'all know what time it is. Thursday. Lansky's day. Lansky's time slot. Nine o'clock. Y'all know how we give it up. It's always a go. We got the co-host back this week. Hugo and Nicole and Nyla with us as well. What's going on, niggas? What's going on, Nicole? <laughs> What's up, niggas? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? What's going on? Y'all yeah. niggas don't need to be timid. Y'all know what time it is, man. We here to talk our shit, What's man. Up? What's going on, Hugo? What's good, bro? Cool, man. Ain't shit, man. It's cool in another day. Another day, another dollar. Another day, another blunt. You know how that goes. We're here to educate the people. Nyla out of San Diego. How you doing, love? Good. How are you guys? I'm doing good. <laughs> Smoking weed. Good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Nicole? What's going on with you? What's going on in your world? How many- you wasn't with us last week. It was a short episode, but now you're back. Yeah, I was kind of busy last week, but, you know, I'm just rolling some Gorilla Cookies. No one's ever too busy for Stone Emotion, okay? So watch what you say, Nicole. <laughs> watch what you say. <laughs> watch what you say. You wasn't no super but busy. What's going on, you go? Where was you at, man? Stuck at the Popeyes? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you and this Popeyes shit, man? Oh, what's up with you and Popeyes, man? Oh. You have a heavy addiction Popeyes to it. Is a... <laughs> nah, heavy man. addiction Pro- of yo, fast Popeyes food. Is like... <laughs> yo, Popeyes is a perfect combo with anything, man. I don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. All right. Do you eat Popeyes in the morning? <laughs> in the morning? Nah. Yeah, like as soon as they open. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you know that be there. It's fucking eleven yeah. o'clock in the morning, <laughs> showing that shit. If Popeyes had, if Popeyes had breakfast, I would, probably, I would probably be there. Nigga, yeah. all you gotta do is just add some waffles, nigga. <laughs> I don't believe you, though, man. This guy, he's he's a fucking Popeyes fiend, man. But yeah, y'all, y'all niggas is crazy, man. We, you know, glad to have y'all back. To everybody who doesn't know, it's your boy Lance. He's corner stone in motion. We're here to educate. You know, one of my favorite sayings is to beat the man, to be the man, you got to beat the man. I'm still unbeaten. <laughs> you know, in my eyes, as I would say, you know what I'm saying? I'm nobody, could, nobody, could... oh, shut the hell up, you go. Nigga always got some hate to <laughs> bread. It's okay. It's okay. You sound like, you sound, you sound like Nicole right now from earlier. That hair on my nigga Drake. Oh, fuck you, Nicole. <laughs> You're right. Legendary. <laughs> Legends. Lansky legend, that that's about right. Young Wally. Views. That hairline is pulling numbers. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> baby. That's hill. right. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that was a test on nature. Yeah. It's like, it's like Anthony Davis's unibrow deal. You know what I'm saying? Big money on the way. <laughs> but yeah, man. You just hated Nicole. You hated on Drake today. Right, right you go. Expose her, my nigga. Expose her. <laughs> she's, a, she's a Drake hater. Oh, she's a Drake hater. Oh, yeah, she's the only person in the world that's hating on Drake giving out a million dollars to uh, poverty. Like, I, just, I, don't I just don't understand. Like to see, I don't personally like to see charitable acts videotaped. I think those kind of things, those tears are held for personal use only. So it's a good thing for Drake, mm. but those people, they're always going to be known as charitable people. Like, damn, Drake helped them out. He could have done, done that without the video, my opinion. Are we really? Go- are we really gonna know that Drake helped them out? Am I really we're gonna, gonna nick, see the lady? We're not gonna nip. We're not gonna nitpick at somebody giving out a million dollars to poverty. I, 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 I won't do that. Like, I mean, he could have done it without the cameras. I'm not gonna nitpick. You sound like an old There's hater, my nigga. Cut it that's out. A hate, that's some hating. That's some hating shit, though. And you got an old hater, like like so we even. Yeah. Oh, come on. Now niggas are bringing jokes. <laughs> okay, Nicole. Okay, niggas wanna niggas wanna bring jokes. All right. Okay. Listen, man. Don't make me don't make me stretch my hand. All right. Don't start your shit today, I Nicole. Ask all right. People got cursed out this week by Lansky. <laughs> 
I know you're acting. Oh, yeah, you, you got cursed out. Do you, do you want do you want to talk do you want to talk about me cursing you out a little bit? Oh, nah. Yes, I do. I do want to talk about it. I want to tell the people how I'm getting treated. <laughs> Show the most. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo, it's, it's actually, all alleged, y'all. Alleged. I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. How she's being treated. Nancy <laughs> was on a fucking rampage. Everybody was getting cursed out, violated. I got kicked off, replaced, came back. <laughs> it was just been crazy. <laughs> so I'm lying. It's all to news me. to me. It wasn't that bad, man. Sometimes yeah. you need to get. Sometimes you need a verbal lashing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what it is, man. Listen, I understand, man. Like, the pressures. I understand, man. The pressures of being taking that big L on a clean slip. That's enough to make any man snap in my eyes, man. What L? <laughs> there is no. There is. There is no L. Hold on. Van Anderson donated. Salute, Van Anderson. Salute to the real ones in the room. Listen, there's no such thing as an L, man. Y'all catch... What are y'all talking about? Stone in motion is booming. Lansky I'm not here to L talk about that. I'm not, I'm not here to talk about my dual queen's flip. We, you know, if you want to check that out, check out his episode, his podcast. That's the homie. There's no losses. It's just, you know, people don't understand that Lansky is the most hated on in the game, one of the most hated on in the game, you know what I'm saying? It's like your man, Tashak, Tashak, what's his name? Tasaki 6 9 is that his name? Not, not, were you there when, when, they got, when they got into the scuffle in LA? Or LAX, whatever there? that shit was? <laughs> there wasn't, I was minding my business. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not bad. Respect your business. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna come up here. Not you, Nala. These two niggas. You go in the call trying to come here and talk shit. Nobody takes no L. The only L I take is to the face when I'm smoking weed. You see no what homo I'm talking weed. about? He's gonna start his shit again. Watch out, y'all. He's gonna start his shit again. Y'all better chill out, man. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So I thought let me get into some real shit real quick. Yeah, I'm about to do the wins and losses of marijuana this week. All right, so everybody pay attention. This is, we got these sources from MarijuanaMoment.com, TheCannabis.com, and uh, HighTimes.com. These are some of the wins and the losses for the marijuana community this week. All right, so take my, I'm going to take my time with this. Medical cannabis laws don't increase teen marijuana use study shows. That's a win. Massachusetts proposes social marijuana use. Yes, there's a bill that's going to go into that's going to be proposed for social marijuana use in Massachusetts. The UK Parliament to debate medical marijuana bill this week. For y'all who don't know what a parliament is or what UK is, that's the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom's Parliament, which I guess is something similar to our Congress. Don't quote me on that. I'm a stoner. To debate medical marijuana bill this week. All right. NYPD discovers nine pounds of fentanyl hidden in raw fish. So make sure you're checking your bud man and checking out the bud he's giving you because fentanyl is the shit they mix in with heroin. And all of a sudden, it's getting into the weed a little bit if you've got shady or shifty dealers. All right? Canadian cannabis consumption has doubled. Canada's uh, heading towards legalization. They're going to vote on it July 7th. But before the legalization goes down... Uh, Canadians out there achieving more than ever. Alabama may reduce penalties for marijuana possession. This is a new trend we're seeing in the marijuana uh, culture that certain states are reducing penalties and letting certain people out of jail. You know what I'm saying? That's a good look for the community, the marijuana community that is. Uh, new Jersey lawmakers opposed to marijuana legalization propose decriminalizing small amounts instead of legalizing it. So that's a loss because New Jersey was supposed to be on board to uh, you know, have some legal marijuana, but now it looks like they're proposing to turn to decriminalization instead of legalization. So if you're in Jersey, get it, get it your lawmakers. And uh, marijuana activist Regina Nelson arrested in Oklahoma for felony possession with intent to distribute. So this is a story that's going around. I don't know if it's na national national news yet, but you can check this out. How much did she have? I didn't. How much did she have? I just. Okay. I didn't. I didn't write all that down. <laughs> this is just the one loss. Stone in motion. Yeah. Stone in motion. 
You know what I'm saying? So marijuana activist Regina Nelson arrested in Oklahoma for felony possession with intent to distribute. You heard? So listen, that's the wins and losses for this week of marijuana. That's how we're starting off the show now, nowadays, and that's how shit goes down now. So everybody out there, I'm looking for a dispensary sponsorship. I'm looking for growers. I'm looking for people behind the scene of marijuana, so please contact me. Anybody who has any information on 420 Cannabis Cup events that are going down, either in Cali or Denver, please keep me posted. And don't let any of these yeah, niggas Lansky know. Definitely needs an, Lansky definitely needs a new plug. He's smoking uh, Maui Wally right now. Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask him. <laughs> you're not familiar you with Maui Wally. If you're not familiar with Maui Wally, it was popularized in, the, in like the 1970s. It was in famous movies like... Uh, uh, teaching tongue and movies like that. So he still smoking you know shit from means, the seventies. Right? So. All right, my nigga, if it's Stone Emotions, that seventies show edition. We'll be all right, my nigga. And it, my weed is not from the seventies, my nigga. My weed is. You see, this is what happens. You guys try to paint this picture on Lansky, like he Can doesn't know what he's smoking. What, go ahead, Nicole. What, can we talk about what? I wanted to know a little bit about the strand because I don't know. I know it's an old strand, but I don't know what kind of, like, what is it? An uh, I don't know. You're not talking, my nigga. Two grams of fucking Reggie in a fucking in a I fucking went live dust? and showed the grams, bro. I went live oh, and showed the grams. Oh, my goodness. Why did you? Nobody cared, nobody cared about that regular weed that you showed on air, man. You go smoking yeah. C4. Come on, MC Gusto. Come on, tell us more about your tell us more about your magical weed, huh? Smoking C4. I'm smoking Maui Wowie. All right, y'all niggas gonna understand. It's a sativa. It's good for trop. It's tropical. It's a. Uh, it's common effects are mellow, cheerful. It's good for stress and appetite. That's what I'm smoking on. What are y'all niggas smoking on, huh? What are you? We know you're smoking on Reggie Bush, Nicole, so you could just you could keep your <laughs> your weed description over there. Nobody, <laughs> you know, you nobody, smoking, on, nobody smoking. I'm I'm still smoking on the C4. <laughs> I just you got know, my what? little cartridge, guys. This little CBD oil, you know. Um, it's called Sunset Gelato by Crush. This is fire. So it's like a high nice. Base. So you guys could take it inside, inside the casinos. I mean, I just like it because it's quicker. You don't got to, you know, you don't got to spend your time rolling that thing. Or it's not messy. And mm-hmm. I go to the casinos. So you can have this inside, have it inside the mall or whatever. So um, that's so why yeah, I like that. So you're, so you're <laughs> moving around everywhere, smoking your, your vape pen. Yeah, and just <laughs> charge it on the go. So... <laughs> Is, yeah, how, long well. how long does it take to charge? How long does it take to charge? Well, it, it depends on the battery that you get. I get the electronic ones where you can change the voltage of how high it hits. Um, nice. I mean, I guess the longest it would take, um, it would take it's four hours, I guess. But um, and, the battery, it stays pretty full. So Okay. Like how how long is the battery? A day or every two days you have to charge it? Or depending on how you um, smoke it? It depends. It depends on how you smoke it. It depends on the size of the battery. Like brass knuckles, they have some pretty good pins. Um I also buy from Spinner brand, they're good. And then this new oh. one that I have is like you snap the cartridge part onto it, right? But then you hold down a button and it folds in. So it's like a little keychain holder type thing. And then um, convenient. The yeah, and then the charger for it is plugged into it, so and it just folds in on the side, so it's cool. It's all cool. right, nice to on the go. How long does a, a cartridge yeah. last you personally? Yo, forget the, the cartridge. Yeah, okay, you smoke Let's a Reggie tea, Bush, my name. Yo, Nyla, she smoke a Reggie Bush. Bush. She don't I'm need to know all this information. But you know, she, she's asking relevant she questions. You know, like, pe- right. but the people need to know these things. If you don't smoke flour and you be on the oils, you know, I can give the information. Um, exactly. <laughs> um, when I first. When I first started smoking, a a pen would last me like two weeks because I wasn't that much of a smoker. But then, you know, the longer you smoke, I guess your body gets, um, what is that called? 
you know, just the, immune, the potency. Immune, immune. It doesn't, yeah, you get immune to it because the potency is just you're getting used to it, so you need it, like, higher and higher. Um, so now one will last me, like, a week, but then I know how to stop smoking, so I'm not a pothead, like, I guess. No, I so you got some control. But, yeah, like I yeah, I know how to put a stop to it. <laughs> so why do so. you why do you put a stop to it? Do you think that cannabis if you overuse it it's a little bit too much to like have a good regular day? Oh no. Let me tell let me tell you, like this is so funny. I just know I need to put a stop to it sometimes because I've gotten new <laughs> batteries, right? I can go to a smoke shop, re up, get a new pin, new battery, new cartridge, everything. My ass will go to like, you know, Food for Less or a grocery store, just Walmart or something, trying to get some snacks and lose my shit and literally have to go oh. back to the store to rebuy it. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind you, of forgetful and I'm just like, fuck, like I just spent $80 it just on sound a fucking goo- pin. You sound, yeah, you sound it's goofy. goofy. You sound goofy and clumsy. That's what, that's what it is. It's goofy yeah. and clumsy. <laughs> that's what it is, right? So that's, what the fuck yeah, is y'all whatever. talking about? <laughs> Yeah, whatever, but crazy. that's why I'm just like, yo, like, I need to chill, you know, recollect Bring it out. And just, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, never, done yet. <laughs> I've never even seen Lansky with anything else besides flour. Like, no, like, pipes or no wax. First of all, I have a, I have a G-Pen. You can really explore I have anything. A, no, I Lance, have a Lance G pen. We we talked about pens and shit before. I have a I G mean, pen. I mean, I just talked about a pen right now. It doesn't mean I have one. All right, listen. We know you don't have one. It's okay. Nicole. It's okay. <laughs> it don't take listen, Reggie. some people. Take listen, some Reggie people are some Reggie people are smoking A one, and some people pen. are smoking <laughs> Reggie. It's okay. It's a difference, you know. But you know, everything's not for everybody. Sometimes shit happens, man. You know. Sometimes, How do y'all feel about like, like edibles? I like edibles. I love cool. edibles. I'm not a big. I'm not a big edible eater. Yeah, I like them. I like the candy ones. You know. Yeah, or like even the infused lemonade or the little um, mm, the drink the THC sodas. Yeah, those are cool. Those are cool. Does it give you the I same would. effect of? Smoking like a blunt or hitting your... No, um, no. it does not. Mm-mm. It does not. Mm-mm. It does not. For they me, talk it done um, now. With me. <laughs> <laughs> they time is over. Yeah. What y'all think is, y'all oh, think is going on here? Y'all, y'all think it's a show for you know, just all hipsters and just talk about vaping all day with drinking coffee? No. Oh, <laughs> this is for the street. Lancy, what, for do you, the street. what do you want to talk about your teeth? What do you want to talk about your teeth, man? Listen, man, if I see beer, it gets me more buzz than this vape talk. <laughs> my nigga, listen, and if, if you must know, if you must know, my nigga, I am drinking a cheap beer right now. A Natty Daddy, yes, a Natty Daddy, I'm drinking a cheap beer. There's no shame in my game. Now, this is a marijuana show. Yes, we always get off course, but we got to talk about the top 10 cities that consume the most marijuana. All year, I'm gonna start it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it off, and I'm gonna let Nicole take take off from there. But the top major cities that consume the most marijuana all year: New York, USA, number one. I want everybody to hear that again. Not California, not Denver. Yeah, New New York. York. Oh yes, all New York sponsors get at me. I don't know how we're number one, but we're at seventy four point four. Percentage consumption in New York of marijuana smoke from what metric I saw at the tons. USA today. 77 metric, metric tons. tons. Then we got Karachi, Pakistan, where it's 41.9. The crazy part about that is that it's illegal in Pakistan. So how are niggas up there even smoking? But you know, there's always a black market, but whatever. New Delhi, India, 38.2. Los Angeles, USA at number four at 36 percent and Cairo Egypt is number five which is also illegal to smoke or have marijuana in Cairo Egypt at 32 point 32 point four percent 32.4 and then you have Manabu India 32.8 London was also illegal 
31.4, Chicago, USA, 24.5, Moscow, Russia, the enemy, 22.8, they're smoking out there, and Toronto, Canada, 22.7. So I know, Nick, you got some other facts on that, but just to give you a list real quick again, the top 10 cities that consume the most marijuana all year, New York, Karachi, Pakistan, New Delhi, India, Los Angeles, USA, Carol, Egypt, Mabu, India, London, UK, Chicago, Illinois, USA, Moscow, Russia, Toronto, Canada. Lady. Yep. And and of course, you, got- you know, the interesting, yeah, the interesting um, part of this uh, cannabis price index by CETO is that New York is number one. If, if they tax marijuana at the average cannabis tax level, New York can make $156 million per year. So that's a lot of money. So I think New York needs to take uh, heed of this and start opening up those dispensaries and those medical treatment centers. How about you? Come on. Now you're, now you're trying to use educated words, Nicole. Heed. New York should take heed of this. You, you go. Where are you, that's man? Educated? You know, where, I mean, where, 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 where's Nicole? Where's the Where the fuck did I get this? Where the fuck did I get this info from? Like New York doesn't smoke the most weed. Like y'all not even yo, know. We, yo, yo, why, not my nigga? Why are you so jealous, my nigga? This, this nigga just hates that's New really York. Why are you question. so jealous? How can um, what's they, the question? How did they come up with these numbers? How can they say seventy-seven tons of marijuana was consumed? Like crowdsourcing surveys. Like how do you know for sure that these numbers are correct? That's my point. Because even though this is the York, USA this is the USA Today article dot com, and we live in a media saw, driven world. <laughs> okay. This nigga saw that New York was number one, and he just ran with that shit. Listen, my nigga. Listen, DC pop up shops are getting ran down on right now. Am I am I incorrect yeah, on that? False. That's fake. That's that's fake news, man. Everything niggas tell you is fake news, huh? It's fake news, that's there. Fake news, yeah. fake news, there. Fake news, Nyla, nigga. you see my co-host? These niggas always think everything is fake news. <laughs> but I just, believe, you know, <laughs> I just don't believe everything in the news, you know what I'm saying? That's a, yeah. Neither do I, but when I see, when I got, see New York... You got an old mentality, you know, you still... What old mentality, my nigga? I'm news. the same age as you. What are you talking about? The fucking, <laughs> shit, but you still believe everything that you see on the fucking news. Like, that's crazy. How are you going to call me? Fucking an old man when I'm the same age as you, man. All right, it's guys yeah. crazy. I want to get some fuck shit. The headline, <laughs> the headline mixed with the with the with the old mentality of watching the news and getting your info. Oh my goodness! Listen, y'all niggas <laughs> just hating on a young Marley. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, my nigga. I, I'm not gonna speak on this again, my nigga. My hair, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with my hair, my nigga. No, I did not get electrocuted. No. I'm not 40 plus. I'm good, my nigga. A young nigga is living life, my nigga. Stop worrying about my hair. I'm good, man. I'm not worried. I'm not listen, worried about it, man. Listen, listen, I just made a listen. comment. It I made like, a comment. I'm not sound, worried about it. It sounds like you and Nicole worry, man. Make a fucking donation, then, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Help a nigga <laughs> out, man. Don't just point the finger. Don't just point the finger when a nigga's down. I'm never down, you though. That's what they call, I'm just saying. You if I was... You call, you, you, they call you a hatfish. <laughs> oh, you're not playing me. Oh, Nicole. I know Nicole's not talking. The catfish champion. The catfish champion. The catfish champion is not talking to me like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your mouth, Nicole. Let me tell you one thing. When I when I walk into a room, listen, it's all eyes on me, and I'm not talking about a Tupac album, all right? You better fucking pay attention. <laughs> pay attention when a real Don walks in the room. What the fuck is he talking about? All right? <laughs> calling that's somebody a hat. Calling somebody. Calling yeah, a nigga yeah. a hat fish is crazy, though. That's that's crazy. <laughs> Wild, disrespectful, my nigga. What the fuck, yo, Nicole? What's in, what's, what's, what's good with you, my nigga? You talking disrespectful to me now, huh? You talking down to me? You gonna call me down about it anyway, so I'm not worried. You, you talking down to me? I'm the I'm the stone I'm the stoner I'm the stoned emotion chant. All right? 
fuck is wrong with niggas, man? Nyla, I'm sorry <laughs> I have to bring you into this crazy type of environment, Nyla. <laughs> Around this. Hey, hey, Lansky, how long? <laughs> hey, hey, Lansky, how long does it take to get a shape up, my nigga? Keep it real. Is it an hour uh, and a half? Listen, man, you saw how quick I went to the bar the last time when I was on live. Y'all niggas That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Y'all niggas That's is crazy, true. man. I will not be disrespected yeah. on the platform. This is Lance's Corner, the most young, jiggy, Haitian nigga out, young king. I don't know what the fuck these two idiots are talking about on the line. <laughs> Pay them no mind. I know. <laughs> these, are my, these are my niggas. I fuck with them. But, you know, they're just hating right now, man. They're just hating. It's okay. Y'all not gonna get to me I'm right hating now. I'm 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 hating on Long Island. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm hating on Long Island. I think it was corny what they did to Hal Rao. Oh come on, my nigga. How, Can we get Hal Rao? Oh yeah. Let's get yes. Let's get into that. Let's get into this. Everybody, this is not no new news. It's been on Doc X TV, Gully TV. Spoke about it. Um, it's all over Double X. They have a Double XL article about this. Yes. Baldwin, Long Island, the flaming grill, it went down. <laughs> Hell, Rel. It looks like he got he got into a little scuffle, but I don't know how you would describe it, man. I know we're a little late on the story, but I, we got to get the stoners to pay You go. I got to go with you first, because I know you got a lot of shit to fuck right now about what happened to Hell, Rel, because you always say New York took a loss. Yeah. Sad to say, and I don't want to be like the bearer of bad news for New York, but New York takes yet another L. Hell, well, former Dipset member, sitting in the dirt. What, the, the biggest question in this whole thing is not even the yeah. ass whooping that he took. It's the why was he in that? Why why is he in that restaurant, man? Why why is Hell Row in that city restaurant? I'll have you know, you go so first and foremost. The Flaming Grill, allegedly, this is where it happened at. That's a great Chinese family establishment for people who want to go out to eat on a budget. Maybe Hal Rell's not making the money from the dip set days. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he needs to go out on a budget, my nigga. I don't know. But I'm not going to let you disrespect the buffet that I drive by every day, all right? It's the community. So, uh, how much does I don't even know what it is in the community. Do, do you uh, know how much does the average meal cost is? No, he doesn't. How much is it, how much is the average meal cost there? <laughs> it's a buffet. I don't fucking know, man. I don't I don't order is out. It? I go in there. I take a seat. I relax. But I'm not hell real. I was never in dipset. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a regular nigga. So there's nothing wrong with me going to the buffet to eat. So you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas are talking about why is he there to eat? Why did he leave the women he was with? He left them. He left them for dead, my nigga. Let's talk about that. Nicole and Nyla, how y'all feel about that? You're out with some nigga, family member or whatever, or not, it don't matter. And he leaves you, and he's trying to escape the building when niggas are running down on him. I'm going to let Nicole go first. I want to hear the smart mouth answer. <laughs> <laughs> let me just say this. If I see something like that happen, and it's somebody with me, and we can jump them, I'm, I'm all in. But if you're already on the move, and, I, and I'm blink, and you're already at the door, you did what you had to do. I mean, I'm not going to, as long as I'm not getting jumped and they ain't beating me up because they can't find you. What you going to do, Lansky? You going to run up on, I mean, you just type. How about you, Nyla? Are yeah. you going um, to fight somebody or are you going to just leave it alone? I mean, I wouldn't just bystand and see someone get beat up. I mean, I'm little, but, you know, I don't know. It just depends on the situation, or at least if there's someone else that could help or something. Like, you know, don't just watch, because what if that could be you or, like, just somebody else, or you never know the situation of why they're supposedly getting beat up. Like, maybe they didn't deserve it, but if they did, then you did that to yourself, you know? But I don't know. That's 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 a, that's a weird one, you know? Yeah, I would why have to be there. So. Why is Hal Rell getting beat up all around New York? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> What's going on here, man? Why is I mean, Ben getting beat up all around New York? Why? Why didn't Why didn't Hal Rell get busy with these niggas though? That's That's my biggest complaint. Like, I mean, I know it wasn't no really. I got to I got to no salute Joe Butt. I I got to salute Joe Button. He said the nigga Hal Rell was on all fours. Oh my goodness. <laughs> on all fours like an animal, my nigga. The niggas had him on all fours like an animal. <laughs> what do you think about that? You know, what do you think about that? Dipset run, though. 
Whoa, watch your mouth. Harry Kim ran, Jim ran, yeah, Pal yeah. ran. The whole dip set ran already. Everybody ran. They before. are, they are right around. Y'all niggas be, y'all niggas yeah. be running like it's a trap. Shut up, y'all niggas. Everybody, everybody, running. everybody. everybody, you everybody. Hood. I ain't Listen, y'all niggas is, y'all niggas is running. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas is sprinters, my nigga. <laughs> Huh? That's what I heard. I know what you're doing. I, heard, I know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. If yeah, I'm you ran. You ran for Sammy winning. last week, my nigga. Winning? No, I didn't. You I didn't run from anybody. No, I didn't, sir. <laughs> Watch your mouth. He get hot. He get hot. <laughs> no, I didn't, sir. Watch your mouth. It's the stone. Okay, the well, maybe not run, him, but <laughs> you, you scared. You you scared around the room. Let's just say that. How about that? Y'all niggas don't know anything about fighting tactics, my nigga. But can That's I ask you a question? Part. Seriously, though, does Long Island take the L? Because you know, obviously they can't. Why would we TV. take the L? He's they not from so Long. Him. He's not from so Long he's Island. He's an old nigga. He's with his family. Um, I'm, I'm guessing those. No, my nigga. Suppose allegedly, allegedly, those are the same niggas that beat him up in the Bronx when he said he knocked out because so he was too him? drunk. That's why I said. I don't why think those are Long. I don't think those were Long Island good. niggas that did that. Uh, those wasn't Long Island Listen, niggas that did that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me tell you one thing. I will Long Island, Long Go- Island Goon back. Squad. Yeah, my nigga, y'all niggas about to stop all that shit because I pulled up to PA. You know what I'm saying? I pulled up to DC. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You I was in every you hood and out. out. <laughs> but yes, I did, man. You, 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 Two you times. pulled up the Silver Spring. You you pulled up the Silver Spring. That's totally different, my nigga. Ah, and Gooey, no. that's totally see, not, Nala, do you see what I got to deal with? <laughs> do you see? <laughs> Nala, <laughs> I, I, want you, I want you to pay attention, Nala. When you give niggas facts, <laughs> they give you rebuttals. Pay attention. Just pay attention. You know what I'm saying? You give niggas facts, they give you rebuttals. <laughs> you can see you, y'all. <laughs> you give them fake news to the people. You give him fake what news. news. I just gave you. I just gave you. Fa- I just gave you, you mad real news, my nigga. What are you talking about? I gave the niggas. I gave you the top ten cities where we was where weed is consumed. I gave you wins and losses, my nigga. And I have two more stories. I'm just let me flow, my nigga. No homo, my nigga. Let me no, do my thing. You know. I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying with the show. <laughs> just go ahead, bro. I was go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. <laughs> Nah, I want you to talk, you know, because you're actually talking. Talk your shit, nigga. You are, nigga, you I wasn't saying that you wasn't giving facts as far as, like, the show, but, like, the last, your last little uh, comment there, you was wrong. That's all I was saying. <laughs> I'm a living legend. I'm never wrong. But besides that, you were, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Honey. I'm a walking, living legend. It's, you know, it's, it's all right. No, I, I wasn't saying that, but good. Continue. No, I know you was. I know you wasn't saying that, but I'm saying that. Lansky, wow. the living legend. El Hancho, aka Smash Adams, aka that boy's good, aka that boy's good. Just <laughs> like I say again, y'all niggas already know, man. But yeah, let's get into this other story. A couple uh, a couple of weeks ago, we gave you a story from about Al Harrington, who was talking about how we could uh, help former NBA player, first National Basketball Association for slow motherfuckers, that they're trying to uh, make a push for the league to allow medical marijuana. So this uh, comes to us, by the way, of MarijuanaMovement.com. Uh, the NBA union that represents professional NBA players think they should be able to use medical marijuana without being punished by the NBA. And by punishment, they mean suspensions or, you know, big fines or rehab stints or whatever the fuck they do over there. NBA executive director Michelle Roberts says, my own view is that there are substantial signs that support its efficiency and that the value that it has for us and especially in pain management. So for y'all of those, uh, for those of y'all who are, you know, NBA fans or keep up with the NBA shit, uh, the former NBA commissioner, David Stern, yes, David Stern, the same one who used to harass Allen Iverson and find him all the time, is actually mm-hmm. endorsing r- removing league penalties for players' uh, cannabis use. Last year, he says he personally believes 
uh, it should be ban- it should be removed from the ban list as a marijuana is a abuse substance for athletes. Uh, the players' union, the the, uh, the players, the NBA players' union has an independent research on cannabis and medical uses to I guess try to prove their point and see what they can get back with that research. So I guess let's go around. Nicole, what do you think about that? I mean, I love Al Harrington because he is a proponent for the legalization of cannabis. Um, he owns uh, Viola Extracts in Denver, Colorado. It's an extraction mm-hmm. company dedicated to, I think it provides like elite wax, shatter, it works for other dispensaries. So he's always been very loud and committed to changing the NBA's mind. So I'm happy that they're starting to talk about it because, you know, white people, they hold secrets well. So they're not saying, yeah, it's going to happen. They're just saying, yeah, we're thinking about it. We're going to look into it more and see the medical benefits it has for our players. And legal how do you know white people? How do, how do you know their... white people? How do you know white people hold secrets well? Because <laughs> they voted for Trump. <laughs> no way. Good point. Good point. Good point. <laughs> good point. Good point. Stop me there. <laughs> Exactly. It's all so, good, man. And it's a legal benefit, too, because they don't want their players to be getting arrested behind minor amounts of marijuana. Well, the NBA has nothing to do with, you know, if the players go to other cities or states and if they have weed on them. It depends on that state's law. They're just saying that they wouldn't penalize. They want to they wanna get a pass for medical use so that it wouldn't be penalized. It's not It's not that's happening yet. It's talk that they're trying to push for this, you know what I'm saying? Like they want this to happen. Yeah, it's, but it's not. It's a conversation. Yeah, yeah. they're trying to what stop uh, like the suspensions. They're trying to yeah, they they're trying to stop like suspensions and stuff. Let's like keep that. it real. Yeah. These NBA players are smoking weed. Nyla, come on! All Star Weekend was just out there. <laughs> I know you heard some stories. Nyla, niggas are smoking weed on the balcony. Niggas are doing all. <laughs> what is that thing throwing? Those those pool parties. Um, niggas are getting high. Niggas, niggas I mean, on that it's, it's, it's lit that everywhere. It, it's lit everywhere, you know, but I just feel like as the topic as a whole is always going to be a controversy in itself, you know, whether people agree or disagree with the use of weed, whether it's for medical reasons or recreational, it's like you can't negate the fact that it brings in money. You know, and that's the reason why it's such a big ordeal in economics or politics and even just for little people like us, like, you know, everyday people. And the government wants to tax it, like I said before, because they whoa, know whoa, Nyla, that it has medicinal I'm not, use. I'm, I'm, you know? I'm not little people. I'm Lansky legend. But continue. Everything else is correct. <laughs> Everything else is correct. <laughs> I mean, but I'm you not what I'm people. saying is like... He's a- no, he's Whatever. little. Pause. Pause that. Y'all, mean, y'all tripping. But, but in a no, serious note, guys. Like, I hear you, Nyla. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. It's always going to be something to talk about. You know, it's always going to be relevant because it creates problems for, you know, like I said, for the government on the politic end and then for us. It's like, you know, we the people, we're supposed to vote on what we want and whatever. That's why weed is legal in some states, you know, because right. people came together. They had a, a, a collective yes or no. You know, at the end of the day, if the people overthrow their opinions or whatever, the government that runs that particular area they have to agree or not you know so and that's just the bottom line for that let's get to the nitty-gritty do the nba players need some medical use or are they just trying to use this to get high on the wall let's keep it real let's get to the nigga talk now you know you you (laughs) never know i mean speaking about athletics and everything some people it could like you know i smoked the cbd oil because it has benefits for like your muscles and relaxing and you know just stuff like that so you know they could use it for medical use so mm. yeah i mean it's already been proven that uh nba players are are smoking but I think the main issue is why they even have testing done for marijuana in the NBA in the first place because the only two sports that penalize for marijuana use is the NFL and the NBA. So that ought to tell you it's a bigger reason mm. behind it all anyway. Right. Baseball, they don't do it. Soccer, they don't do it. I mean, So are you saying that the race people. issue, like race has something to do with why they're testing, um, why it's a ban? Black people are normally smoking weed? Okay. 
Okay. I mean, that's a. Th- I mean, I'm not even gonna say of course, but that's a. That's a theory. I mean, it's no reason. I mean, every we right. is not a, a is not a color is not a race based thing, and um, mm-hmm. I mean, like everybody of, of of all races do it. So it's no testing in baseball or tennis or any of the. It's not for marijuana anyway. Hockey. You know, t- hockey. You know, oh come on! Who's watching hockey? hockey? I mean, come on! Like, Who's watching hockey? What do you? Now you niggas are going. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about hockey. It's a sport. He's saying hockey is a major. Hockey is a four, is one of the four major sport, sports. Bro. Hockey's hockey's trying to keep their head above water, man. Listen, yeah. man, this is just. They're bugging. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, they're doing I'm, good. Yo, man, coming coming from Coley Cole. You, so now you a hockey fan, huh? Well, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about you this week, my nigga. <laughs> I'm learning a lot about you this week, my nigga. I'm an all around. I'm you all around sports fan. I'm an all around sports fan. I'm an all around sports fan. Now, now he's a jokester. He's a jokester and a sports fan of all oh, kinds. All right, my nigga. I see you. I see you. Washington, Washington Capitals. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hockey's all right. Oh, if you ever been to a game, fuck the it's a, fuck it's a good, Capitals. It's a good date. Right. Fuck all that shit. Hockey's it's a good date. Right. It's a good date. <laughs> It's a good date to take. Damn, you don't want to have, see. That's, see, that's why you're shooting three for ten with the ladies because you don't want to take no advice. But mm. carry what on. What ladies, my nigga? What does my no? What does sports have to do with me and the ladies, my nigga? Taking the ladies. I'm trying to tell. I'm trying to. I'm trying to put you on some dollars, bro. But the floor is yours, my nigga. The floor is yours. <laughs> oh my god, you gonna keep cutting me up? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Taking a lady to a, a, a first date to a hockey game is is, is dope. So I she would like to experience. There's a lot going on at a hockey game, so don't sleep on Nyla, that. Nyla, if a nigga take you to a hockey game, you, you gonna feel that? I don't. I don't watch sports, <laughs> so that's right. I'm not that's, a, that's right. I'm boo. a girly girl. That's right, boo. <laughs> that's right. You don't, don't watch that bullshit, <laughs> nigga. You well, Lancey does, do, much Lancey much doesn't spend more than forty hours on a date. Lansky doesn't spend more than 40 hours oh my. on the beach. So he wouldn't be able to take you on a hockey date anyway. Yo, why are y'all trying to sabotage? Y'all be trying to sabotage me, man. You the one who said you don't spend money. I went, I went, I went, I went, to, I went, I went to a Jay-Z concert. It wasn't $40, man. Like, come on, man. you didn't man. take a date. You went by yourself. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I was my own, I was my own date, my nigga. That's the whole point I'm trying to make to you. It, it, I would spend the money if I wanted to. I haven't found a queen who's worthy of me to spend my pesos on, my nigga. You niggas. And you were sitting all the way up. Let's keep it real, my nigga. Nah, come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Now, now you're talking nonsense. Now you're taking, now you're taking <laughs> shots at my seats. Now you're taking shots at my seats. Did you go to the fourth quarter tour, my nigga? <laughs> Did you go to the fourth quarter tour? I was impressed. Did Jay Z even stop in Washington D.C.? Did Jay Z acknowledge yeah. Washington D.C. or not? Nah? Yeah. Oh, okay. He stayed at the White House. Making... He was at the White House. Oh yeah, he stayed at the White House when Obama was in there. Now it's the White House mm-hmm. again. So y'all niggas shut the hell up, nigga. <laughs> he didn't come to D.C. <laughs> and you was nowhere in the <laughs> building, you go. Just because you was at the in the nosebleed seats, my nigga. You ain't gotta get mad at me, my nigga. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not gonna act like you spent. Over like sixty dollars for those tickets, my nigga. Let's, let's keep it a buck. Yeah, you niggas keep you spending deal, over. Man. You niggas keep you niggas keep spending over hundreds of dollars on your dates and letting that girl bring home a doggy bag when she's bringing it home to her man. You foolio, no, you foolio. I'm not part of that. So go ahead. Nicole, your ultimate hater. <laughs> <laughs> mother, I'm not man? bringing no doggy bags. I don't that like uh, leftovers. Listen, y'all niggas better not go to the buffet like hell, Ralph, my nigga. I swear to God, my nigga. <laughs> I'm <about> to... <laughs> Goons run up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nyla, you're gonna good, Nyla. Don't like worry. Hell and I'm going to be out there oh. doing just like hell, Ralph. <laughs> Oh yeah, hold on. Did y'all see? Uh, y'all saw the video with Chris, uh, Chris Brown and uh, the game smoking All Star Weekend. Why does Chris uh, Brown always have game? to be extra? Why does Chris Brown always have to be extra? Why did he pass the blunt through his legs and made like he made it more <laughs> obvious that it was blunt than anything else to me? <laughs> like he did a that. First of all, first of all, you don't you don't know Chris Brown, so stop asking like 
Oh, why you did you do that? Know. Yeah, you don't, you don't know Breezy. You don't know my nigga Breezy. So calm down. <laughs> First and foremost, I mean, calm I down. Didn't see, I didn't see the big deal. I didn't see the big... It's a hood... It's a hood classic, you know what I mean, or hood favorite to always mm-hmm. smoke a blunt before, during, or after the game if you're playing. So, you know what I mean, two friends getting up, smoking a blunt before a little celebrity game, no big deal. Mm-hmm. How about no you, Nyla? Did you see the video? Yeah, I've seen it. I mean, they were just minding their business. It's like, let them do what they do. It was all Star weekend <laughs> in L.A. That's right, so, Nyla. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Nala. Those niggas was minding their <laughs> business. You know what? There's too many fucking cameras around, my nigga. You can't even fucking right. pick your nose now with you can't even pick your nose now with days, my nigga. Because there's a fucking cameraman who got a camera on you screaming world stars doing some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And you still got these <laughs> sick people walking around here, like Nicole, who's smoking Reggie Bush. <laughs> Reggie Bush. I'm not smoking Reggie. I'm smoking gorilla cookies. You're not smoking gorilla cookies. Nothing. Anytime I say I smoke anything, you say I smoke something else anyways. (laughs) You don't believe that I have good weed, so I could smoke Reggie. I got a nigga on the line. He's telling me he's smoking C4. You know what you're smoking? Straight up bullshit, niggas. You're smoking crack. I'm smoking smoking a Maui. 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 I got my strand up on Leafy right now, you know what I'm saying? But Maui Wiley is some old shit, man. You gotta, you gotta know what Listen, you're man. About. You niggas can hate on me all you want, man. And my weed. Oh, yeah, I want to say this, too. Stone Emotion Scullies, shirts, lighters are back on deck. Holler at the PayPal, MyLinsky100 if you need them. And uh, that's a fact, though, my nigga. That's all I want to say about that. I had to pull up my merchandise real quick. But now back to this nonsense these niggas are talking about. You go. The next time I come to DC, the next time I come to DC, I'm I'm buying a dispensary, nigga. You gotta get a sponsor first. If you got it, if you got it like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm not smoking with you though. But if you roll, but if you roll, I I I just want you to hold the phone and record everything when I when I'm starting up in the dispensary. Nah, I don't do I don't do the the recording. I, I I don't want you to speak over the recordings either. I don't need no voice notes. You feel me, my nigga? I just want you. I just want you. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, you're gonna need my cosign to get into anything exclusive around here. You know what I'm saying? So I won't be holding no camera. I'll be like, hey, let my man Lansky in. He got got a little podcast. You know what I mean? That's my man. A little let podcast. Him, let him, let him nigga, you're on the podcast. <laughs> you're on the podcast with me, nigga. How could it be little, my nigga? Oh my. You see, you see, Nyla, you can't give niggas shit, Nyla. <laughs> niggas are talking about this is a little, this is a little podcast. I'll have you know, my resume is long, sir. My resume is long, sir. I didn't I'll mean you know it. That, I didn't sir. mean it. No, I you didn't mean it like that. that. I meant, yes, I meant it. I this meant is it. the greatest, man. It's about the weed. <laughs> It's about the weed, my nigga. It's about the love you have for the weed, man. Who cares if you hate me, if you dislike me, man? We all have a common goal. This is why we come here every Thursday, 9 p.m. Stone in motion, man. I'm about to go start a cult like David Koresh somewhere in the fucking the mountains of the fucking Texas or some shit, man. For my marijuana people. <laughs> This YouTube shit ain't working out. <laughs> There's too many niggas in there. <laughs> too many. <laughs> niggas bugging. I know there was What's another that? article that Mhisky wanted to talk about, and it was about the DC dispensary parties. And I think Hugo said that the parties are still up and running. Oh no, no correction. I want to talk about that last. All right, correction. Of course. Oh my bad. Correction, my nigga. <laughs> correction. All right. So don't be trying to well, don't be trying to spit out go. stories. <laughs> don't be trying to spit out stories, nigga. All right, that was last week. But story. I was talking to Hugo. Yeah, but I wasn't on last week. But I was talking to Hugo about it this week because you know he has more. Well, whatever. But he said that um that the the parties haven't stopped and they're like private list parties and text messaging going on. So. 
How you feel about those parties? Man, I'm on, those parties. I'm on a couple. I'm on a couple exclusive lists, man. There's no shutting down. There's no. Problem. Yeah. Oh my like, I said, like, like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said, but the beginning, like I said, at the top of the hour. VIP. He is VIP, yeah, and then the next thing you know, you get to the door, they'd be like, yo, you're not on the list. He'd be like, yo, that's what happens. Yo, hold that's on. That's what happens to you. That's what happens to you in New York. My man's in there. Yo, he, yo, look for my man. They call him T-Money. T-Money. You know T-Money. Nah. He'd be wearing that chain. <laughs> T-Money. <laughs> I'm A1 everywhere I Lassie, go, nigga. Just because, just because you have a picture of with Chink's drugs, God rest his soul, from like eight years ago, doesn't mean you whoa, have whoa, respect, Chink, respect, respect Chink's drugs, nigga. Respect, respect Chink's drugs. Drug. Mm-hmm. Drug. That man, that man saluted Lance's corner a couple of years ago. <laughs> to him. He was it was a not a one, couple. Right? It was not a couple years ago, my nigga. It wasn't a couple. Yes, a it couple was, nigga. Years. Mind your fucking business, it nigga. Was, How about that? Mind <laughs> right your business. It was, it, was, it was not 2016. It was not 2016. Don't worry about that. I got pictures with a lot of people, man. I'm international. You know what I'm saying? International lands. That's what they call me now. It's a new name now. It's national lands. Feel me? Nice. <laughs> yeah, Nicole. That's right. Get back on my good side. That's right. <laughs> you acting crazy. You acting <laughs> You was acting real crazy, my nigga. You, you see, was acting I'm real crazy. Real nice and quiet. Yeah, you was acting real crazy real at the beginning quiet. of the, at the beginning of the show, man. What's going on with you? I hope you, you forget. Wanna... I hope you forget. No, no, it's in my memory bank. It's in the memory bank. It's in the memory bank. Well, I will you know be receiving saying? a call in the morning after uh, that. Uh, no, motherfucker, you'll be receiving a call tonight, nigga. You won't be receiving a call in the morning. <laughs> you'll be receiving a call tonight. I'll let the people know that right now. <laughs> what do you think this is, huh? I make the jokes here. The... I make right. the jokes. Regardless if they're funny or not, I make them. <laughs> Fact. I agree. I agree. Well, jokes, well, jokes are funny. They're supposed to be funny, so if they're not funny, then yeah, really yeah, you go. Yeah, I'm still waiting for a funny joke from you, man. You, all you gotta say is that New York <laughs> took a law. I'm in, I'm in no joking mood right now. Man. Listen, why are you in no joking mood? I thought you were high. I thought you were. I thought you were smoking C4. I thought you were on the clouds. Why are you not in? What happened, you? What happened, huh? Tell me. First of all, don't don't leave the O off my name, nigga. It's you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're not certified. You're not certified to give me nicknames, nigga. <laughs> That's one. And two, I'm just fine, nigga. The people just, just fine. Are you sure? You don't sign just fine, my nigga. I'm making sure you're all right, my nigga. You good, bro. I'm good over here, man. I'm smoking this some is the weed. Greatest marijuana podcast just up to date ever. Just up to date. Niggas always got slick jokes. This is the best marijuana podcast out in the streets right now. I just want to say salute to you, though. Salute to Nicole and Nyla. I'm sorry I had to bring you into this crazy environment, Nyla. Y'all crazy. But it's all right. <laughs> You'll be part. Of, you'll be part of the family soon. It's all right. Right here, you know, we got Hugo, the playmaker. You know what I'm saying? The next time I come to D.C., he better have the city on smash. You have to, you have to, have, you have to actually come to D.C., not the suburbs outside of D.C., Silver Spring and Bowie. Oh, Those are cool buddy, places. I, can, I mean, I, I can show you some fun over there in them parts, too, but that's not the city, my nigga. Right. Come on, man. Oh, Nicole, Nicole. Like, I think you need to stay in the... Like, like wherever he goes. Right. Okay, Nicole. Hey, right. hey Nicole, Nicole, Nicole knows. Yo, y'all wherever, niggas, wherever y'all niggas is the two... Y'all niggas is the two stooges, my nigga. I swear to God. Once one say something, the other one be like, oh, yeah, right, right. I don't, right? I don't want to say I don't want to say Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas some idiots, some dweebs. <laughs> and I say that respectfully. <laughs> There's a nigga that watches The Flash every Tuesday. Nigga, yes, I do watch The Flash, nigga. I'm very upset that The Flash, Gotham, a couple of my shows is not on. My nigga, listen, how do you think I keep these creative juices going, bro? No homo. I have to expand my mind. 
You see, unlike Negroes and niggas from the hood, I read a book every once in a while. I pick up a comic book every once in a while. I watch a show that doesn't interest me every once in a while so I could expand my creativity. You understand that? As you're mm, supposed to. Book is, comic books right. doesn't really count. Uh, sometimes, five, my nigga, sometimes I, sometimes I go party with hipsters. You know what I'm saying? It's all I'm about no hipster. I'm no yeah, hipster, no, my <laughs> nigga. But I go party with hipsters. I see what's going on. Because you know what? Lansky's Corner. I got a new nickname. It just came to me. God damn, I love the Lord. <laughs> I just forgot it. I just forgot. Oh, wait, there it is. Lansky's Corner. The Renaissance Man. Woo! <laughs> the Renaissance Man. Oh, well, forget Time's cover. Forget the cover of I've never heard that before. Lansky's Corner. The Renaissance Man. My nigga, I'm so ahead of my, I'm so ahead of my life. <laughs> about to meet my parents Lansky. twice, nigga. Hey, Lansky, you you about to, you you you're real original there, buddy. Hmm? There's a whole movie called The Renaissance Man. <laughs> well, that's all right, my nigga. He didn't he he didn't he didn't get the spiritual speaking that came to him like he came to me, no homo. And now <laughs> I'm the Renaissance man, oh, my nigga. That I don't care about. I don't care about his movie. I don't care. <laughs> I'm the movie. I'm the movie now. For copyright reasons, I don't want to let you know. No, all right. Yes, right. You, you know, you're looking out for me, my nigga. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You go <laughs> with the O. You go with the O. Don't forget the O. Don't forget the O, my nigga. Like try, try, press, <laughs> nigga. Say the whole thing, nigga. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let me get to this last story, man. Let me let me get to this last story. Let me just say once again, the Instagram is Lancey's Corner. You can find Hugo with Hugo underscore Honcho 88. You can find Cine Apples on Instagram as well. And Nyla, I don't know yours yet, so you can tell them what your Instagram is. Um, you guys can find me on Instagram at Nala underscore Neturu, and then also um like my brand page on Facebook. I am Nala, and yeah. All right, everybody just gave this shit out, so we lit. So this is the last story. A marijuana entrepreneur brings in over one million a year, running a bud and breakfast hotel. Now I know sometimes on Stone Emotion you ask. Why does Lansky bring up these stories that sound like they're out the blue? They're just chilling and talking shit. It's funny. But this is this is the education I'm trying to give y'all. I'm trying to explain to y'all that this is a big business, a booming billion-dollar business. And this is a business story right here. So Joel Skykinder, who knows whatever the fuck his name is, owner of Colorado's Bud and Breakfast Hotel, told a business insider, what happens at this bed and breakfast doesn't happen anywhere else. So this is the owner of the Bud and Breakfast Hotel. In 2016, he bought over. He bought over. Oh no! In 2016, he brought in over one million dollars managing the nation's first pot-friendly hotel. He opened it in 2004. It's a six-bedroom Victorian home, and the suites. Range from two ninety nine to three ninety nine, so two hundred ninety nine dollars to three hundred ninety nine dollars a night. Our reservations include a wake and bake breakfast, and also a side of ganja. The po- uh, the hotel has a policy of strict B Y O C. Bring your own cannabis. Uh, they don't distribute weed at the hotel uh, except for the complimentary side of ganja with your breakfast. And you know they off basically the service they provide is they offer a private space for people to consume marijuana and smoke marijuana for the out of towners. Uh, according to Joel, the owner of Button Breakfast, he gets the most visitors from the state of Texas. So mm. I thought this was dope because uh, you know a lot of people just think they can't make their dreams happen or think their dreams are too far fetched or think their ideas too far fetched. This is a guy, he was formerly a lawyer. 
You know what I'm saying? So he was on the other side of the justice system. And uh, he followed something that he wanted to lay out. And it's the Bud and Breakfast Hotel. And uh, like I said, he got into it in 2014. By 2016, he made a million dollars. So half your niggas are going to work six months to nine to five somewhere, taking off for the next eight, and then going to find another job. Y'all niggas need to be out there trying to pursue the marijuana business. This is why I bring stories out of left field. This is why I bring stories that you think are important. Because our people need to hear it. God damn it, it's still Black History Month. It's Black History Month every month. And me and the Stone Emotion crew need to go to this butt and breakfast. So yes, you motherfuckers yep. need to send the PayPal donations so we can get shit lit. But what do you think about this, uh, uh, Nicole, my fave? <laughs> Nicole. I think it's interesting because he doesn't even sell any weed at the hotel. Everything is strictly personal consumption. If you come, you smoke and whatever. I think there's a lot of shops and stores over there. You know what I mean, I guess. I don't really care about the white man doing shit with cannabis. I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Because he had to start a... Nigga, let me tell you one thing. You, you, live, know, in a, people, you live in a white world, world, baby girl. You live in a white people. world. Yeah, Lansky, you couldn't bring up... You couldn't bring up any black businesses uh, as exactly. far as cannabis like, doing uh, black been history month the week? whole time. They come up, they I'm have the idiot. money, they have the capital, and they business. take advantage of the perks of the can- of the system now. Oh, now you now you made a million. But it's people still sitting behind bars, behind these misdemeanors and these weed offenses. So I want to... Well, Colorado, Colorado has let people out on misdemeanor. Yeah, we charge it. Second of all, that, don't forget that two weeks ago, I did, I did shout out the black woman who did have her own marijuana business that was going on. So let's not play favoritism here. This is YouTube. <laughs> this is YouTube. Let's not play favoritism. <laughs> but I understand y'all. But which one? But which one of y'all niggas came to the table and said, "Let's talk about a black African American leader"? I'll wait. Me. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. That's what we're, that's what we're talking about. I'm a black African leader for the marijuana movement. How about that? Lansky's corner. Right. I mean, but you guys, like, my views on it, even though the story is covering a white man, a black person could hear this, a Mexican, Asian, whatever. As long as they get the same concept and idea, they can do it too. And I just think this yeah. article is ironic because. It shows that he was on the other side, and typically people who know nothing about politics think that politicians and, you know, people on that side don't do shit like this. But see, it's like they can do stuff like this and get away with it because they've been on the inside and they know the loopholes. Like, the way that he has this company, he can have it because it's not like he's a dispensary. He doesn't distribute the weed. He'll have... I guess a little amount about it, like you know, but people like bring their own stuff. Yeah, people mm-hmm. people bring their own stuff, and typically he's still just a normal hotel, and that's the thing. Exactly. So it's like people need to but be inspired by stories friendly. like this. Yeah. But it's four twenty. I mean, whatever. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. Whatever. Yo, cause somebody sent a donation. We got to get Nicole. We got to. This is my. This is my dream for Nicole. We're going to get her a white friend. <laughs> we will try to that. get my homegirl, Nicole, a white friend. I, I have she white will. Friends. It's not about that. No, you don't, nigga. No, you don't. Shut up. Yeah, who's your white friend? The Bill White, the white Bill collector? That's your, that's your white friend, the white mailman? <laughs> who's that? Is this your friend? Fuck out of here, Nicole. We're going to get you a white nah, friend. Nah, I don't have, have a white friend. <laughs> <laughs> I have guy in me. That's right. And That's right. The listener will not be denied. That's right. And we'll keep it real. You don't, you don't have any white friends. And that's okay. We're going to work on it, man. We're going to work on it. <laughs> that's crazy. That's all. That's all. Does anybody want to spew more hate? I mean, you know, we've been going pretty good, man. I'm happy we all came through today. On the line, Nyla, <clears throat> you go, Nicole. Let me give the uh, wins and losses again, real quick. I'll give the important ones. I won't go through everything again. Uh, 
the United Kingdom Parliament to debate medical marijuana bill this week. That's a fact of uh, Massachusetts proposes social marijuana use. Uh, that's another big win for us. Uh, this is a loss. Be careful with your weed dealers and be careful with your dispensaries and who you're dealing with. No shady e niggas. You know what I'm saying? NYPD discovers nine pounds of fentanyl hidden in raw fish. So the fentanyl is what they used to cut heroin and shit like that with. And it has been found in marijuana, so be careful. Uh, Alabama may reduce penalties for marijuana possession, which, like I said earlier, is a trend that's going on across the states. We saw that in uh, California, and Chicago as well, and some other states that are, you know, and a loss for us, no, a loss for us this week, two losses is New Jersey, which was heading towards marijuana legalization, now proposes, excuse me, I just burped my fault, decriminalizing small amounts of weed instead of making it legal. So that's a loss. And marijuana activist Regina Wilson arrested in Oklahoma for felony possession to intent to distribute. You heard? So that's the wins and losses once again. If you didn't catch it at the beginning, now you're catching it at the end, motherfucker. And stone in motion. <laughs> it is what it is. I, oh, yeah. I want to leave before I dip. I want to talk about one thing, too, because, Nicole, you forgot to bring this up. What What is your thing about, oh, Lansky loves the pain? You were saying this to me earlier this week. <laughs> <clears throat> I was, well, with all that happened in the last two weeks, uh, I've been noticing. You really what, like hold on, to hold on. about you. Hold on. I I say, what happened? What happened, Nicole? You got to break it down. You got to break it down. I just want to explain. What happened in the last two weeks? They saw a young. Oh, I will. I will let you explain. Let me they saw explain. a young jig nigga. Let her explain. They, they, let her explain. Hey, yeah. hey, let her hey! Explain. You motherfuckers, be quiet. I'm not gonna explain. Listen. I'm not gonna. Let her explain. They saw man. a young jiggy Haitian nigga get flee. Now continue, Nicole. Continue. What no, sir. But go ahead. Like, go ahead, Nicole. Like a lot of negative attention. Like you don't. My, like you kind of enjoy negative attention more than positive. If something positive or happy is around, you kind of like, no, I don't want that. I don't like that. If it's hate, I love it. Like you love, love, love it. Embrace the like hate. you're infatuated. Now, it's Embrace a difference the between hate. embracing it and being like super, like, you know, co- comfortable with being in painful situations. Like that's how I feel. Like you're so- comfortable with being in painful situations. You took a lot of pain. Damn, she's saying you need to be happy. A lot of people say uh, they don't know who I am. I haven't been an open book on the show yet. Yep. Yep. Get to know me. Get to know me. Do we know how, besides you being a young OG, do do y'all want to ask me a couple questions? Do y'all want to ask me a couple questions before I dip? Before we dip off? Yeah. Any questions y'all want to ask me? Personal questions. When did okay, you start so. doing your podcast? When did you start doing Lansky's Corner? He's going to tell you some real shit. 2011. <laughs> it all started from a drunk at night in uh, a friend's basement. Uh, he said, yo, let's record some shit. And I started talking shit. And I've been on that road ever since. That was in 2011. Uniondale, New York, Long Island. What else? What else you want to know? What was your I highlight? Went to Uniondale. I went, like your hold on. favorite. Mm-hmm. Let me ask one. Hold on, I'm gonna let everybody ask one. I went to Uniondale High School, which is in Long Island, and Buster Arms went there. Eddie Murphy, leaders of the, leaders of the new school, and now Lancey's Corner is part of that alumni. All right, so go ahead, you go. What you want to ask me? I'm like, uh, especially like uh, documentaries and like cinema. I'm like okay. real heavy into like uh, like monsters and get, like shit like that. So so. Game. So am I. So I'm, yeah, so I wanted to know, like, if you know... Okay, I'm glad you said you did. What? How did you choose the name Maya Lansky? Like, what made you choose him out of everybody? For, well, but it actually goes name. back to something you said. It actually goes back to a comment you made earlier that Lansky won't spend more than $40 on a date, which is a lie. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. my, I've, had, I've had several nicknames. My main nickname is KP, which is my name and my last name, my two initials. And then they used to call me, um, what you call it, Merle and Smashed Adams. My Lancey came about, like you said. Who called you Smashed Adams? 
Who called you fat? <laughs> Who, Three. Who, watch your watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I'm talking right now. You gave yourself and, that name the other day. Let's, no, I've been had that nigga. I've been you had that name. name the day. About. I've been I've been had that name. You're bugging. Anyway, you give so yourself you names question. every day. Could I ask? Could I answer the question? So my nigga, the way I got my own ask is like you said, you went to documentaries and mafia movies. I was a kid who watched a lot of. You know, I watched Fridays and I watched all those funny movies and Money Talks growing up and um shit like that. But I also did watch like the Goodfellas and the Casinos, and that sparked my interest into you know Italian mafia life. So yes, my friends did give me the nickname Lansky because I was a cheapskate, and <laughs> they, I used to roll. I used to roll Knicks. I used to make Knicks roll into two, so niggas be like, "Yo, you mad cheap, my nigga." Like that nigga Lansky, because he was the accountant for the mob. So that's where I got the name Lansky from. That's where it came about. Okay, yeah. Not because I love white people, not because anything like that. It's because I was into the that type of documentaries and movies, and people say, "Yo, you remind me of Lansky." So that's where I got the name from. Nala, you got a question for me? Um, I was just going to ask, like, since you do radio now, do you plan on having this be your last career? And then since you do it in New York, are you just going to stay in New York the whole time? Or, like, you going to branch out and be all over the place? All right. You got a double question. But you my nigga. I fuck with you. <laughs> First and <laughs> foremost, <laughs> yeah, um, I do love to do more than radio. I am going to get into, I do hope to get into stand-up and hope to get into, like, hosting events and all type of marijuana events and marijuana podcasts and other type of podcasts. Hope I bring it international. The second part, what was the second part of your question that you asked? Do you ever plan to expand and branch out, or are you going to stay in New York forever, like, with your radio? I'm always, down to, I'm always down to travel. As much as I make fun of uh, Hugo, for living in D.C., that might be a possibility of where I end up. I'm always down for it. I'm always down to travel for paid travel or vacate there. So it's not something that's out the picture. So I do love New York. I am a New Yorker at heart, and I I would prefer. I mean, I already made it here. So if you make it in New York, you make it anywhere. <laughs> you feel me? I already made it here. So I could leave New York now, but the situation would have to be correct for me. If I left New York. Yeah. Right. You said stand up like stand up like comic? Like been a stand up comic? Yeah. 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 Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Well I taught um I'm in the beginning I'm in the early stages of my writing right now, but uh, I I taught twenty dollars a joke because you're gonna need them. I don't I don't need your but, jokes. But probably. I believe in you, my nigga, but I do I do believe I do believe in you though. Can I ask y'all some questions before we dip out? Kind of global. Shout out to Joey Chris, Global Media. He gave us a platform before we even head out. And I ask y'all any questions. But shout out to Joey Chris, still giving us the platform. Global Media. Check out his YouTube too. Yo, Stone Emotion, Lanky's Corner. Check the Instagram. Yo, Hate Squad, salute. Hate Squad, salute. Check out for the Hate Squad shit that's coming as well. But uh, let me ask y'all some questions. Uh, so, Nicole, what made you feel like, yo, I'm going to step up and do radio. I want to get into podcasting or, you know, all that shit. Because in real life, I'm popping. In real life, I have a story to tell. Mm-hmm. So you got a message so to tell people. Like That's why you want to make sure yes. that they're here to hear it. Exactly. Not just cannabis, but, like, real life situations. So I want to expand, you know, and do more with that. All right, that's dope. What else, fuck nigga? You. Shut the I don't fuck, fuck up. With you. Yo, you go. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Yo, yo, you go. Yo, you, yo, you go. Who told you you were the man that made your head so gassed and so big headed, my nigga? <laughs> Explain that to me, my nigga. <laughs> Explain that to me, I you mean, go. I was, I, I've been, I've been approached to do many, uh podcasts and such things and, and similar things oh over the years. But 
I chose to take my talents to stone the motion, man. You should be grateful. Yes, you did. You did. I appreciate you, money. You did. They did call me the playmaker for a reason, man. That's because I make plays. All right. In real life. Nice. In the podcast shit. All right, man. That's dope, my nigga. So, like I said, we're going to, you know, we're going to let the people know who we are because we don't lie, but we're talking on here and letting the people know what's up. Nala. What's up? I know you said you're, I know you said you're, the, you're the feisty one. 5152. Five, what's up with you? What you want to tell the people? What, I know you said you, you're a ganja model, a tattoo model, all that. Yeah, um, what you want, what, I'm a couple what, things. What sparks you? What, <laughs> What wake what what wake what makes you wake up out your bed in the morning? Let let me know. Well, I don't know. It's just a lot of things. Um, you know, the reason why I have my brand and put everything into what I do, it's all based around positivity. Um, if you guys don't really know me like that, you can tell that from my work that I'm into metaphysics, comedics, and you know, just cultural based things, all based around positivity. So. I've always been a creative mm-hmm. person, so I do a whole bunch of things like tattoo model, actress, all that different stuff, write poetry. So I'm just in all the outlets, I guess, to express myself in a positive way, help others, and yeah. <laughs> I think that's dope. That's dope. Thank that's you. dope. I wrote a poem. I'm going to write a poem right now before we dip. <laughs> Lance oh, Corner. Lansky's corner. He was on the corner like De La Ghetto. It's the ghetto. It's the ghetto, but you got to leave the ghetto in your mental. Skinny Come on, cat. man. We had double digits, man. Come on, man. Don't, skinny don't, cat. Don't, don't have skinny leave. cat. Skinny cat. He wear the fitted cap. They called him a hat fish. He brought shorty. He brought shorty back. <laughs> I fuck with y'all, man. I got love for y'all, man. You know I fuck with y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Hit the like button. Stone emotion. We hit every Thursday. I'm trying to get another day this week to get the crew where we could get a day to get two times a week. So, you know, we're gonna be here more often. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. We're actually at 420 subscribers. That's what I like to hear. Stone oh. Emotion, 420 friendly. That's a good so, number. Yep, 420. Let's get it lit. I want to say thank you to everybody who tuned in. Salute to the OG Star. Salute to my nigga Flip. Sha, Jenna, Umi. You know, shout out to myself because I'm the man. Every morning I wake up, it's a blessing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn God, what? Why you let me wake up with my haters? I'm going to let everybody else talk their shit to her. Shout out to Joey Craig, Global Media. He likes to say we Johnny Blaze in the streets. Only real 90s niggas know what type of talk that is. We real Johnny Blaze in the streets. So subscribe to the YouTube, uh, the Instagram, Lance's Corner. I have a like page on Facebook. Nicole's supposed to be running that, but, you know, you know how that goes. <laughs> So Nicole, <laughs> go ahead and go ahead, Nicole. Give me your information. Let me know you can be found at what you up to, whatever. All right. Well, I want to give a big shout out to my squad, Hey Squad, um, Essence and Sheba. We got a ladies' night coming soon, so we'll we will be live streaming off YouTube as well. Um, shout out to Hugo, Lansky, Nyla, and uh, Supermo. Thank you for having me, Global Media Media, on your platform as well. You go. Look, they find you, nigga. <laughs> um, I'll sacrifice my outro if you can tell me one of your jokes that you would tell for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me think. Let me think. Um, one of the jokes I would say. It's uh, my name's Lansky. I'm here tonight. Obviously, I'm Haitian. I haven't made it because I'm not a doctor or a lawyer. But I'm just a stoner. Listen, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of hand motions and facial expressions you got to do too. You can't see what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I mean, see, uh, where's the punch? Where's the punch? Fuck you, nigga. Just give you an outro, nigga. <laughs> just give you an outro. Don't worry about. 
my joke. Don't worry about what I'm writing. Don't worry about me right now. Don't worry about that. Just, <laughs> right, just tell them well, where to I, I did sacrifice my ass joke, but the joke, the, 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 the joke was a bust, uh, to say the least. But um, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Jugo underscore Hanto eighty eight. Everybody be safe, man. Nobody follow this nigga. Yo, Nala. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to um to my tattoo artist Cadillac Sanchez in downtown San Diego. Um, Don Elway, look out for his project coming out called. Hold Wayne on, Nyla. Hold on. Hold what? on. <laughs> Your real shout outs. We ain't shout out the whole block today. We about to be out of here. <laughs> so shout out uh, to the tattoo artist. Okay. Okay. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> New Day on Radio. Don the Queens and. DPMG. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Thank like you. Women <laughs> <laughs> are always right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Y'all niggas. Y'all know what's going on. Oh, let, uh, shout out Hate Squad, too. Yeah, we, we, we shouted them out several times. I did. Shout out to Tony Moses. Whatever, niggas. Shut up. Tony Moses. Stone emotion. It's a, it's a big, it's a big podcast, not a little podcast. <laughs> right, nigga. I'm glad you said that. The biggest in the world. Big. We're out here for the out here. They want to see me lose. They see Lansky. It's ninth round. They think he's staggering around. Oh, he hits him with the left. Oh, he ducked. He ducked the uppercut. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, Lance, he's coming back to life. Oh, <laughs> somebody just throw weed in the ring? Is that is that Popeye spinach? No, oh, it's marijuana. No, it's a tomato. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck you, nigga. No <laughs> emotion for life, man. We out. We here for the culture. Shout out to Nicole, Hugo, and Nala, man. I got love for y'all. Everybody share it, repost it, tag a friend, leave your hateful ass comments. And yes, I will be back on other platforms. Shout out to everybody else, man. We out here. Salute.